What's up guys, after this video, your Zoner Photo Studio experience is never going to be the same, and that's because we're going to show you how you can customize Zoner Photo Studio X to suit your needs instead of getting, buying a program and then needing to adjust yourself to the program. Let's go take a look. So we're going to show you what options you have in regards to customizing Zoner Photo Studio X so that it works best for you. Everyone is different and everyone's going to have their own preference of how a, especially how a photo editing software program should look like. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to change the look of the entire program using color themes. And you can easily change the color theme in your ZPSX preferences. Click right here at the top, choose preferences, and then go to the appearance tab. The default color theme is the one you know from our videos, marketing materials, and website the gray one. So if you prefer darker colors, you can easily switch to dark mode and click apply to confirm that. And on the other hand, if you prefer bright colors and black text on a bright background, you can switch to a bright mode. And that looks something like this. Okay, so I'll go back to the default color theme. Another thing we're going to take a look at is how to customize the side panels. And ZPSX has three of them. The one on the left with the navigator, another one on the right, which contains either editing tools or photo information, and finally, the film strip, which is below, which we can't see right now because we're in the manager module. If we switch to preview mode, we will see the film strip though. And all three of these panels can be hidden or displayed based on your needs. Now this is done by clicking on the small button with the arrow at the edge of the panel right here. Or you can use keyboard shortcuts like F6 to hide the left panel, and you can use F8 to hide the right panel. It's important to remember that displaying or hiding panels is done separately for each module. That means if you want the manager module to be displayed like this, then you can switch to the develop module. And then in the develop module, you might want the entire left panel and the navigator hidden, or you can make it show up again. I use the keyboard shortcut F6 and I go to the manager and then back again to the develop module. The display settings for the left panel stay exactly the same. You can also customize how each section of these side panels look like. If you don't use some of the features in the left panel like OneDrive, you can easily hide it by right clicking it. Similarly, I can hide setting groups and editing tools in the develop module. For example, if you don't use effects or sharpness in your editing, you can right click at the top to choose which setting groups are displayed in the develop module. I'm going to uncheck the effects menu and then I'll also hide sharpness. And because I know I do not use shift primary colors all that often, I can minimize this section too. And when I go back to the manager module, and then go back to the develop module, I'll find it exactly the way as I left it. That means that these two sections are minimized and the last two sections are hidden. I want to give you just one more tip on how you can give yourself a little bit more room when you're editing. You've probably noticed that my histogram is a bit strange and it's only partially there. And you can decide for yourself if you want your histogram to take up a small amount of space or if you want it to be double that size, standard size, completely hide it, or whatever floats your boat. And this gives you a lot more space for other tools. These are some of the options that you have for customizing panels in the develop module. And now we'll go back to the manager module and see how you can customize thumbnails. Notice that in addition to the image preview and its name, you have the option to rate the photo, using stars or using colored labels, which you probably already know by now. Sonar Photo Studio X recently added the option to customize this information that you see with these thumbnails. And let's check out how to customize thumbnails. So click on preferences and go to the thumbnail section. Here it shows everything you can see or hide with thumbnails. For example, you can hide the option and add ratings, for example. Click apply and you'll suddenly have a much cleaner look to your thumbnails. You can even remove the file name and only see the image preview. This isn't very practical though, so I'm going to 
check the show file names once again and confirm your selection by clicking apply and hitting OK. Another part of ZPSX that you can customize is previews. When you select a photo you want to view more closely, you can switch to the preview mode, which will show it in much greater detail and over a much larger area. With this preview, you can choose what information you see with each individual photograph. And by default, you see the number of stars and you have the option to change the rating. But if you click on this icon with the picture and gear and select Setup Preview Information, a basic looking window opens, but one with a large amount of settings options. For example, here you choose what information is displayed above the photo in two columns. Click the empty field and then choose what information should be displayed there. For example, we'll choose file order and file name. I choose the option here, and right away I can see it displayed both in the preview and above the actual photo. Small text like this is usually pretty hard to read, so we can change that and increase its size. You can see the edits that I've made are reflected in the UI immediately. I also recommend adding a shadow under the text just to make it a little bit more legible because you'll have uh, some photos that are darker or lighter and you might not be able to read it that well. You can use a similar method to customize what information is displayed in the viewer. And you can get to viewer mode for any photo by clicking on this button or simply pressing F3. In viewer mode, most of the Zona Photo Studio X interface is hidden so that the largest area is actually taken up by your photo and you can view them without any obstruction or distractions. And if you want to display certain information, you once again have the option to customize the viewer. You'll find the icon to change these settings at the bottom and it looks the same. So click it to set what information you want displayed. Here you can see the settings in the form of so-called metadata tokens. And if you'd like to learn more about them, we created a separate video. So check that one out if you are so inclined. So these are just a few tips on how to make Zona Photo Studio X suit your needs instead of the other way around. I hope you found something useful in this video. Please like and subscribe to get our future videos and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.